What's up guys? It's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com and today we have a little bit of a different video. Um, I wanted to give you guys an update on Spidey's, um, I guess, new tank decor that I've been working on. Uh, I've been working on buying some stuff on Amazon and kind of figuring out how I want to lay things out. And some of those items recently came, so I want to show you guys what I'm getting um, and what I'm going to be putting in her tank. And I also want to, to kind of hear some opinions about what kind of designs I should try out um, or what kind of cute ideas. And I'll share some of what's on my mind too. And here we have the little Spidey. She is looking so beautiful, especially in this natural light. Um, so she has had, it's been at least six months since her last tank cleaning. I try to do it maybe twice a year. Um, because she doesn't eat very much and because she's usually pretty clean, um, I don't really have to clean it as often as that. I can usually get um, away with maybe seven to eight months. But um, I do want to make sure that I do a tank change because I am going to be moving in maybe two to three months and I want to make sure it happens before that. Um, so that she can kind of get used to her new surroundings and she doesn't freak out because there's going to be a lot of big changes coming. So I would like to, maybe in the next few weeks, um, definitely make sure that she gets her tank changed so that she gets at least a month of adjustment time before we move. Um, and uh, yes, so I'm trying to time that along with her next meal time as well. I don't want to throw too much at her. And one of the exciting things that's going to be happening is she's finally going to be getting a new water dish. Um, yeah, <laughs> that water dish has been with her for years um, since I got her, which is like over six, seven years ago. I lose track all the time. But yeah, it's been a while and it's kind of at the point where no matter how much I clean it, it doesn't really look new. So yes, but you're getting a new water dish and um, it hasn't come yet. That is the one thing that has not come in yet. Oh, baby. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Um, that has not come. That's the last thing I'm waiting on before I do this tang change. I think it'll be here in about a week or two it's coming from like china or something like that so sometimes that takes a while but everything else came really fast so hopefully once i get that done and i get to give her a meal maybe in a week or two i'll be able to do that tank change and i'm going to be shooting a tutorial for that so you guys will be able to see um, how my process is for changing her tank and cleaning it and as well as how i put her tank together so let me show you the other stuff Okay guys, here's what the supplies look like so far. Um, sorry for the bed angle, I'm really short. I'm like five feet tall and this counter's kind of tall so I'm trying to like stand on my tippy toes and lean over. So this is the substrate that I get for um, Spidey. I've been using this forever. It's probably the only kind of substrate I've ever used. Um, I usually will need, this is a big bag. Um, it's about eight quarts. I usually need like one and a half to fill her tank so I'm probably gonna have to pick up another one or um, maybe I have enough in a half used bag that I have already um, because I do like to give her tons of substrate. I I've noticed that even when it looks like I put in a lot of substrate and it's enough, um, once the substrate kind of um, gets packed down by her from her like walking around on it or um, it kind of settles, it goes down a bit. So I usually try to put in more than needed. And she's got some new plants and some cute little fig figurines and um, some succulents that I'm going to be adding. She already has a few succulents that I'm going to keep, um, but I think these will be super cute. And now I'd love to see what this looks like without the packaging. Okay, so I have to say that this actually exceeded my expectations. Everything is super cute. Um, so these are going to be some little scenes that I might try setting up in Spidey's tank. I don't have high hopes for um, how these little things are going to last if I place them in a certain way. They're so small. Um, I can't believe how small these guys are. I think that these might actually have to go in Blinky's enclosure because they might be too small for Spidey. Um, this is like a little ledge thingy. Oh, sorry for the lighting. Um, so that is so adorable. Um, I don't know what's going to happen because what I think is going to happen is I'm going to make a really cute scene with these things and um, design something really adorable. And then Spidey is going to do whatever she wants, pull things out. Um, I don't know how this is going to last um, because the last time I got Spidey decorations like this, she trampled them. So we'll just see. Um, it's always trial and error with the animals. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I might try to set up a really cute scene or something and then just see what happens. Um, if anything, it'll be a really cool behavioral experiment that I can then report on. So I'm really excited. These will definitely, a few of them will go in Blinky's tank because they're just so tiny. Um, and Blinky just had a tank change. Uh, this is like a little moss piece or whatever. Um, Blinky just had a tank change not too long ago, so they don't need another one. 
Um, I will probably just add more substrate and then try to make a little design, um, but nothing too crazy. I don't want to disturb them. Um, but yeah, so that is what is going in Spidey's tank. And I also have that really cool um, water dish that I'm waiting on that's gonna be coming soon. That's like very leafy like that as well. So I'm very excited about the upgrade that Spidey's getting. She certainly deserves it. She's had the same stuff for a really long time. Um, so I am very, very excited. And I don't think I've ever shown you guys my um, my living room, but that is it right now. That's just, um, it's really cute. <laughs> I'm just getting sentimental because my boyfriend and I are gonna be moving into another place soon. So things are gonna be in boxes and we're gonna have a lot of excitement. So um, yeah, I'll be sharing updates on that. But um, yeah, don't worry. The spiders will be taken care of while we do that. And I guess that actually is a really important point that I can talk about. I've talked about um, timing your tank changes and stuff like that. And I think that's what I'm most worried about in this process. Like, yeah, I'm excited about the designs and, and doing the process and recording that for you guys. But I'm also really trying to find um, the right time to do this tank change because I want to get it done before... Um, we move because it's been Spidey's gone without a tank change for quite a while um, and I see now she's starting to eat more regularly she had been eating pretty regularly so I think it's about time um, so I want to do it soon but I want to make sure she has at least a month to settle in before the move and I also want to make sure she gets a meal in because I know she's not going to want to eat after the tank change and she's going to be all thrown off so um, I'm hoping she eats soon and hopefully by the time the water dish gets here, I'll be able to film the video of her tank uh, change and show my process to you guys. And then she'll have a few weeks to settle in, um, get comfortable, and then we'll be throwing another change at her. So um, I had moved maybe seven, eight months ago and she handled that pretty well. So um, I know she is not a fan of car rides, but she's pretty good. So, um, and Blinky is so small, I don't even know if they'll notice, but yeah, the spiders are gonna be very secure. So maybe I'll um, keep you guys updated on what that process is like and how we're planning on moving the spiders and keeping them safe during it. Um, don't worry, we're not moving far. We're literally moving like, a 15 minute car ride away from where we are now. So it's not like we're flying with them or anything like that, but um, it is a big thing to do with the animals, especially the jealous cat doesn't like change either. So yeah, when you have animals, you have to really take their health and everything into consideration. But anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. I know this is a different video, but I wanted to um, let you guys know what's going on over here. And also I wanted to keep you involved in Spidey's um, tank planning because now that I have all my stuff here and I see how the size of everything and I'm getting all sorts of ideas about what kind of scenes I wanna make and what kind of things I wanna do. Um, so I was very excited to share that with you. Um, anyway, let me know what you think of what I got for Spidey. And if you have any ideas about what I should do, I'd love to hear it. Um, I'll see you next week, bye.